The cybersecurity industry is facing a perfect storm. New regulations are dropping like CMMC 2.0, boards are being held personally liable for cyber incidents, and companies are scrambling to hire GRC professionals who can help them navigate this chaos. But here's the reality. Not everybody who tries to break into GRC will be successful. But in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to succeed, the resources, the communities, and to know if GRC is even a good fit for you in the first place. Let's get into it. What's up, friend? Gerald Osier here. I've got 20 years of GRC experience and I love cybersecurity. I'm here with Simply Cyber and today we're diving deep into the world of GRC that's governance, risk, and compliance. And whether you're a seasoned IT pro looking to pivot or just completely new to cybersecurity, this video will give you the honest truth about what it takes to become a GRC analyst in 2025. Before we talk about how to become a GRC analyst, let's address the elephant in the room, okay? This role is not for everyone and that's okay it's better to know up front if it's a good fit for you or not okay here's why first if you hate documentation and writing, you might want to look elsewhere. There's a lot of great jobs in cybersecurity, okay? GRC analysts spend about 60% of their time writing policies, procedures, analyzing, you know, metrics and data gathered, writing reports, assessing risk, communicating out the findings from those to different audiences. You need to be able to explain complex technical concepts to non-technical people. The huh? business is not always super huh? technical, nor do they really care about legal level zero days or other really cool interesting stuff that we love they need to know how does this impact our ability to make money second you need to be very comfortable with ambiguity okay unlike pen testing where you either hack the system or you don't grc often deals with quite gray areas you'll be balancing business needs with security requirements and there's rarely a perfect solution in fact sometimes you might actually have to take on risk you don't even want to just because it's not worth the investment on the business side in order to protect that particular problem. Third, you need to love learning and staying current with regulations from CMMC 2.0 to PCI, HIPAA. The compliance landscape is constantly evolving, especially as privacy regulations start coming out more and more and the way that we handle personally identifiable information type data gets more stringent and the reporting requirements continue to increase. If continuous learning sounds exhausting rather than exciting, again, this may not be the right path for you, but don't take it as a negative, just think, okay, like I'm glad I found out this instead of wasting time, energy, and effort pursuing this GRC. But if you're still here and these challenges sound interesting rather than daunting, let's talk about what you need to learn. To become a successful GRC analyst, you need to master key areas. Those areas, I'm going to give them to you right now. IT fundamentals. While you don't need to be a technical expert, you do need to understand basic IT concepts to effectively apply GRC principles. In the world of cybersecurity, GRC, you know, it basically has the label of being the least technical, not no technical, just the least technical. And that's really, really important. One of the reasons that we deal with this like entry level requiring previous experience type paradox, you need to understand how two computers talk to each other. You need to understand at a high level how the internet works, how an operating system functions. Because when a threat actor is going to attack your business, your organization or whatever, you need to have an understanding of how that happens so you can apply your big brain to be able to say, listen, we only have so much money to invest in defending this organization, but we're going to get our biggest return on investment, our biggest risk reduction by putting these controls right here in place. That's GRC's job. That's one of the functions that we do. And because understanding IT fundamentals fuels that knowledge, you need to have it. Next, you need information security integration. You need to understand how GRC fits into the larger information security office and interfaces with the business is crucial. Now, I'll just give you a quick like spoiler alert here, okay? Think of GRC as the interface between the information security office and the business. The person who is like looking at the wire, blocking attacks, pushing patches, doing all those things, they are effectively working on the systems and the applications and stuff. And while they do talk to some business owners or application or system owners or whatever, for the most part, it's the GRC people who are going to the business and educating the workforce on what the problems are and what they need to be mindful of. Information security awareness, that's GRC's function. Also communicating risk. You basically need to be able to interface with the business to explain what the problems are because you need them to either make changes to the way that work is done here. Like for example, 
example, allowing people to remote in using whatever technologies they want on the weekends. Maybe that introduces massive risk. Maybe this solution is buying a licensed corporate remote access solution that you can control and access it that way versus just going YOLO and letting everyone do it. Or maybe you just stop remote work, whatever it is. That is a business decision with the GRC liaise interfacing with them. And the final thing about this one, like the, the CISO or the director of InfoSec, like whoever's in charge of information security, they are interfacing with their peers on the business side. That is a GRC role. So just remember CISOs are GRC, okay? And we have to be able to interface with both the business and the information security team at large. You're also going to need compliance and audit skills, okay? You need to understand why compliance exists and how it benefits the business and how to conduct effective audits. That is a critical one. And I'll point out, audit is an awesome way to break into GRC. It's, it's basically kind of the first step. Uh, later on, you'll be doing like risk assessments, but that risk assessment is like basically a step after you do the audit when you see if something is in place or not. The risk is like, how bad is it if it's not in place? The next item you're gonna need, friend, security awareness, creation capabilities. And this is often overlooked, but creating engaging security awareness content that actually reduces cyber risk is critical, okay? if you've ever taken a once a year PowerPoint presentation for information security awareness. Let's be real, right? Like no one's here besides you and I, like you clicked through it as quickly as possible, or you just skip to the end and hit complete. Everyone does it. I get it. That is not the way to do information security awareness. That's actually a way to waste everyone's time and basically make a joke of the GRC function at your business. There are great ways to do it. There's a ton of education out there on how to do it, but you need to learn how to do it effectively. And that's actually going to be a key differentiator as far as you being uh, like just an absolute killer type professional. You need to pick up risk assessment skills. And this is literally the bread and butter of GRC. This is why you get paid big bucks uh, to work in GRC if you can do risk assessment properly. You need to understand what risk is, how to calculate it, and how to communicate it effectively to stakeholders in order to drive the information security program and lower risk for the organization. The final thing you're gonna need is governance development, okay? You need to know how to create, how to implement, how to communicate policies, procedures, appropriate standards that drive business buy-in and adoption. I'll give you an example, right, really quickly. If you say, hey, everybody here has to have a 500 character password, like that is absolutely the dumbest thing. Where, are those secure passwords? Sure, never, ever, ever gonna get cracked until maybe quantum computers come out. But at the same time, the business is gonna be like, this clown absolutely is a joke 500 character password get out of here you're cooked okay do not show your face at the laundry again you're not going to get buy-in you're not going to get adoption you're going to get violent pushback from the business so you've got to find that balance and that's just another thing that grc you know professionals need to deal with so let's talk about some learning resources where can you learn all of the things i just told you you needed well let's start with the free resources okay there'll be links in the description below i promise a nist cybersecurity framework documentation and training materials nist the national institute of standards and technology puts out all sorts of amazing awesome free uh taxpayers paid for it but free information security documentation and awareness and the cybersecurity framework i swear to god if i wasn't so conformed I would get I heart NIST on my knuckle tattooed there. NIST cybersecurity framework is my favorite cybersecurity framework to implement. If an organization I go to is mature enough or large enough to be able to handle NIST cybersecurity framework, it's what I'm going with as far as the information security program. So listen, you can go download their materials. They're designed to be read and consumed. They're not supposed to be overwhelming and confusing. And you can actually see a holistic, comprehensive information security program from basically neophyte or nascent all the way up to wicked mature with those resources so definitely go consume those you can go to the official cmmc ab website and resources okay cmmc is coming and it's going to cause a lot of jobs without making an entire video all to itself just know that in order to do business in the united states with the department of defense anybody is going to have to comply with cmmc which is essentially you know basically like 25 controls or 25 
of things that you have to do that are secure, like putting in multi-factor authentication, patching your systems, being able to respond to an incident, okay? Like, like not super complicated things, but you need to be able to do them and you need to be able to document that you're doing them. And that is all day long a GRC person. So I think there's actually gonna be a huge swell of GRC uh, opportunities in 2025. So, you know, get familiar with uh, that. It's at the CMMCAB website. You can go to local community infosec meetups that are like monthly ones. There, some, work, some areas have those. You might even have annual cons like B-sides. So look in your area, literally just type in the search engine, you know, your area, Detroit, you know, Grand Rapids, wherever you are, and then cybersecurity meetups and find them in your area. You can go basically network with other professionals and start building a little bit of a network. That's going to be huge. And there's definitely going to be some GRC overlap in those groups. You can go back to NIST and look at their special publication 800 series now, but the NIST special pub 800 series is a massive library of information security documentation. Uh, some of it's very technical on how something works technically like wireless networks. Some of it is very like applicable and strategic in nature, like how to build an information security awareness program for different types of organization sizes. And there's a just a ton of GRC stuff. I'll call your attention really quickly to NIST Special Pub 800-37, which is the risk management framework. You can consume that. That's an absolute gem. 800-53, which is the security control catalog. Think of it as like a dictionary of every type of security control you could possibly put in your information security program. You'll basically pick and choose the ones that make sense from there when you're implementing NIST CSF or CIS 18 or whatever. There's 818, which is writing a security plan. There's 830 on how to do risk assessments. Earlier, remember I told you get straight okay. cash, homie, for doing risk assessments. There's a whole special pub on how to do them, okay? Take advantage of these resources. Like I said earlier, though, if you don't like documentation, if you don't like reading, if you don't like writing, if you're not a lifelong learner, this is your first test, okay? Consuming these type of resources is going to, you know, you're either going to dig it or you're going to be like, ah, I'm going to go try one of these CTF platforms platforms and just hack on something for a few minutes, okay? There are many entry-level cyber and GRC-focused YouTube channels as well that you can go check out. Of course, uh, Simply Cyber uh, has tons of YouTube content, a lot of it focused on GRC. I'll, I'll go into specific resources uh, later on in the video. Now, I do want to say if you're serious, those are all free resources that you can scoop up. But if you're looking to like fast track your GRC career and basically have all the skills that you need all compressed into one spot and basically basically just kind of hit the easy button. I actually created a comprehensive GRC analyst masterclass at Simply Cyber Academy, literally because I kept getting asked, where's the best place to get GRC training? And I had no really good answer. So I, I just went and made the answer. And this isn't really a theoretical course. It's designed to give you practical hands-on experience with real world applications. And here's exactly what you'll learn in the course. Those IT fundamentals, I got a whole module on that, several lectures. I give you a comprehensive IT primer because I don't want to give you GRC knowledge and, and not be successful because you don't have that technical foundation. So we take care of that. I give you the GRC roles in InfoSec so you'll learn exactly how GRC fits into the larger information security picture and how to work effectively with others. Remember I mentioned earlier, understanding where it fits with the business and the team. We'll do compliance and audit work. Uh, I actually have practical labs that you'll learn how to conduct real audits and understand that why compliance actually matters to a business. That security awareness training, another hands-on lab where I walk you through building actually impactful, engaging security awareness content that you should absolutely take advantage of. Uh, and then I actually have a, a whole walkthrough hands-on lab uh, tip for that, that skill that gets you paid, risk assessment, right? We'll dive deep into risk. I've actually got like five or six lectures just on risk and then the practical lab that shows you how to calculate risk, how to understand what threats would be an issue for different weaknesses that you discovered. Real world scenarios, it's, it's very applicable. And then of course, governance work. We write a policy together in the course. Uh, we talk about procedure standards. It, it's very nice. On top of all that, I love that all these modules, I actually just give you cut and paste resume bullets. Because if you're literally doing the work and doing the labs, the skills that you're getting are what the resume bullets are saying. Oh, also the course itself actually has career guidance. So I figured if you're going to get all these skills, I might as well show you how to get a GRC job. So I actually walk through how to find a GRC job, how to interview, how to land the job, etc. cetera, uh, because having the skills is only half the battle. You actually need to like get you know the job itself too. That's the point of what we're doing here, right? Beyond these resources, the free ones, the Simply Cyber Academy Masterclass, I want to share some valuable creators and communities to follow. And I really want to underline communities. A lot of these creators have communities attached 
attached to them. And trust me, if you want to go fast, go alone. And if you want to go far, go as a group. And I'm telling you, you will go so far if you engage with a community. And here's a bunch that you can just check out if you want, find one that's your vibe. I wanna call out Chris Whitlock and the Study GRC gang. So over at studygrc.org, um, he's live streaming every Thursday at 7 p.m. on just GRC stuff. He has GRC professionals as guests on his streams. His website's got a ton of resources to go check out, all focused on uh, GRC. And, and Chris is a friend of mine. I, I really like Chris. He's, he's got a great attitude and he's really, really uh, passionate about community and helping people. There's Professor Black Ops over on YouTube or PBO as he's referred to. You'll run into him in the Discord communities. He's got a lot of great content. Go check that out. Uh, if, you, if you're more into like LinkedIn, I want to call out Jax Scott on LinkedIn. Jack Scott, she is a deputy CISO. She's worked in GRC for a long time. She is an amazing person, a good personal friend. You'll see a, a trend here. I, I, I've got a lot of GRC friends. She's got great content. She's constantly posting thoughtful blog posts or LinkedIn posts that you can definitely benefit from. Now, you might want a Discord community. How about this one? Space Tacos has the GRC slash audit treasure trove Discord community. I love this Discord community. It's all focused on GRC. They've got all the different frameworks, all the different regulations. They got resources. They're sharing with each other. The vibes are awesome in that Discord. And Space Tacos is an awesome person on top of that. So of course, the server would adopt that personality. Go check that out. Maybe you like blog posts a bit better. How about Steve McMichael's CPA to cybersecurity blog? Another former CPA converted into a GRC professional, kind of a mid-career pivot. He's blogging all the time about different things within the GRC space. He actually developed an entire GRC career roadmap that you can get for free and then, you know, basically just check it off as you're going through your career. Again, I'm assuming if you made it to this point in the video, you're, you're down for GRC, okay? So definitely check that out. And of course, I would be remiss if I didn't mention our own Simply Cyber community. There's a Discord server. We have live streams every single weekday with hundreds and hundreds of professionals in there sharing information. And I'm doing uh, daily threat briefs. That information can be immediately utilized for awareness training for your workforce or to educate your you know, IT staff around some specific issue that they should be mindful of. We have a lot of fun over at Simply Cyber. So you know, check out any of these just because you're here at my channel. You don't have to be part of Simply Cyber. Just find what speaks to you. Find your people. We've got lots of great people over at Simply Cyber though. So definitely check it out. And a lot of the people that I mentioned before, Chris and Space Tacos, Jax, um, Steve, PBO, like they're all kind of like in the same community, right? Like in the Simply Cyber community, in the Study GRC community. It, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's so many good people. Now, remember the key to success in GRC is staying connected and continuously learning from others. So don't be shy, okay? Say hi. We're, we're very, very welcoming, inclusive people. So there you have it, okay, everyone? Everything you need to know to start your journey as a GRC analyst in 2025. And hopefully if you know it's a good fit for you or not. So whether you choose to learn through free resources, certifications, or you want to fast track your career through a more comprehensive focus course like my GRC Analyst Masterclass, the most important thing is to start taking action today. Whatever it is, go join the Discord server. Make that make that your one thing to do today. Make tomorrow saying hi to someone. Make the day after looking at one GRC blog post, right? Start small, but be consistent, okay? The cybersecurity industry is desperately underserved when it comes to GRC training. And that's exactly why I created my course and all the resources that I put out there. I want you to have practical skills that you can use to succeed. If you found this video helpful, you know, click a sub if you want, hit the bell for notifications, all those things. But what I would really like you to do is just take advantage of this video and get to work We'd love to see you in GRC in 2025. There is going to be a lot of opportunity. I promise you, remember, in this field, you're either growing or you're falling behind. And I'm here to help you grow. I'm Gerald Ozier from Simply Cyber. Until next time, stay secure.